about whether they're a week or not behind the pulpit. It's about our rest, every thought, in every way. It is not, Lord God, a political issue. Lord God, it is a heart issue with man. Father, we want to be able to set an example for other states. And so we ask, dear Father, that you would give us the courage to stand. Stand boldly. Stand consistently. Stand faithfully until the battle is won. My name is Zimmy Fleck. I'm the executive director of Georgia Right to Life. And I basically had the opportunity and privilege to plan the entire event and execute every aspect of it. But I would say, just judging estimate with the crowd, we had about 1,500 people. My number one reason for being pro-life is that God gave me life and he saw fit to um, uh, sustain my life, provide an adoptive family for me. Uh, my mother died when I was about five months old and so that is my ultimate reason for being pro-life but also that I understand from God's word that he loves life and he creates life and he is the one who sustains it and no one should take it. Having rape exceptions in laws tells me personally and people like Rebecca Kiesling, Ralph Davis, and Trayvon Clifton that our lives that our lives hold less value and less worth. We need to be punishing the rapists, not these innocent babies. Um, I think the biggest misconception is that it's a white movement and that there's no space for the African-American voice in it. That's one. I think another misconception is that it's about um, birth and not taking care of the children after they're here. Um, I think that it's a, a life issue, not a life in the womb, but a life period. And so uh, oftentimes those who will take care of the life before the child gets here uh, doesn't, don't necessarily advocate for the life once it's here. You know, we have the school to prison pipeline and we have the miseducation system and just the way that people are disenfranchised. I think it's important to understand that it's not a, a, um, it's not a before the womb issue and then discard the life. Act. It is so important that we elect candidates in federal and state elections who are pro-life, not just in words, but in actions. I think we'll make some strides. I don't think we'll see a full repeal of, of uh, Roe v. Wade, but um, there's a lot of things that we can do incrementally to, to make some change and, and move the, the ball down the field. Well, I, you know, people say that, that women have a, a choice, but when it comes to sort of life or death, I, you know, I think uh, an unborn, unborn life matters, you know, and so um, I, I think you can't throw that aside. I think it's important uh, that we value that life that hasn't been born yet. In the head. He's talking about love in the heart. So here's what God really said to Jeremiah. Before I formed you in the womb, I loved you. Well, it seems like everybody's anti-woman today, you know, not only the pro-life movement, but everybody, everything else that's happening, women are gone crazy thinking that everything is against them, um, which on some points that's true, but I don't think, once again, that it's anti-women. I think that we're concerned about all women and, um, you know, want them to have choices other than killing their baby. A lot of the misconceptions are that we're anti-woman and we're not at all. We're very pro-woman. We don't want any woman to live with the regret that she has killed an innocent human being. And while a lot of the circumstances surrounding the uh, life of a woman who's going to have an abortion are very sad and tragic, it doesn't justify killing an innocent human being. But I'm hopeful that we're seeing a change from the grassroots, that more people are becoming pro-life and recognizing the truth about abortion. Uh, to women who have already had abortions, I would say that there is hope and forgiveness from that sin, and that they need to acknowledge that it's a sin against God to kill an innocent human being, but that there's forgiveness because Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sins, and all they have to do is repent and trust Christ. And for not uh, dying to ourselves and plucking out our eyes and cutting off our hands so that we may be pure in heart as well as pure in life. Forgive us, O Lord, the sins, the guilt of this 
This pride goes so much farther than who signs this. Women say we are not promoting their rights, but we are taking them away, and that is absolutely not the truth. We are working to protect women in various areas, and um, we ourselves work in the um, area of legal protection, and that we work with the legislators towards um, creating pro-life legislation. I am very hopeful about changes to the abortion laws and the fact that I believe that the uh, federal abortion laws were created under false pretenses tenses, excuse me, and um, that there was a lot of uh, legal um, recognition with the abortion situation that um, was false. Yeah, they're pretty perfect.